right, welcome back to Space Between Ideas. I'm Blaine Gates. As you can see at the top of the screen here, we have a number of tabs that we're going to get through today. You can think of that as our progress. We're going to move along the top from tab to tab until we get to the end. Now, this video, where does it fit in with the other videos? So basically, we have, um, hmm, what kind of videos do we have? We have interview videos where I am talking to other people about great crucial insights and also the direct outcomes checklists in order for those people to work on their projects. And in general, we have three different types of people. One is a startup company, someone who's starting a new project. Number two is a mid-level manager or a department manager, and they're looking for tools to hold meetings and also to train staff. Number three are the big bosses, and they kind of look at the entire organization, and also they have to understand kind of the bird's eye view of the whole industry and perhaps the world. Now, uh, so that those are interview videos, and the second type of video are kind of, it's just me. So I'm talking about specifically what I'm doing. And today, that's, that's the kind of video that we're going to do today. So I'm going to go through what I have been doing, and we're going to look at the next steps for my project using the direct outcomes checklists. Uh, the third type of video are basically like training videos where I am training about a specific idea, specific concept, specific checklist, something that you can use, uh, take back into your organization. So let's, uh, let's get started. Um, if you've seen my other videos, then you'll know that basically we use this mind map in order to discuss all the different things that you're trying to do. Now, on my piece of paper, I got the side hustle, so I do have a, uh, a job, um, but right now we're on vacation, so I got some time. Then I got this future hustle. These are things that I'm interested in, but I'm not doing right now. And then we got the side hustle. So these are things that I am working on right now on the side after I finish work on the weekends, early in the morning when I have time. These are things that I can work on. All right. And also remember, we had another video where I was discussing this little matrix here. All right. So basically um, what we're going to talk about today is the Space Between Ideas project. So space between ideas, of course, you're here. So um, <laughs> you're, you're looking at me putting together this project for you. Now, according to this, I, I have another training video where I discuss these four quadrants. We have people in their business who are trailing. All right, so that means you're not a leader in your business. Uh, you're not the best restaurant on the street. You don't have the best gadget on the market. And you're trying to figure out how to get a bigger, well, who said you have to have the best restaurant on the street in order to get the most amount of customers. But uh, eventually you will, you can, you can go into the leading side, which means you are a leader in that industry. Now, who doesn't want to be a leader in the industry? Unfortunately, it's very difficult to go from this section here, recollecting to this section here, coasting. Now, as you can see, we have two different gears. We have the laid back gear. That's like, we could say that's maybe gear number one. And then we have diligent gear, which is probably gear number five. So how do we get from one to five? Here, we're recollecting, meaning we are doing very little work. And obviously, um, it also shows that we are not doing well in the industry. Now, as we start to put in more effort, as you can see over here, here's the gears. So this is zero. Haphazard is probably gear number one. So haphazard, it means I'm trying some of this, trying some of that. Uh, let's see what works. Tentative means you're starting to work on a process. Maybe you try this type of process. Maybe you try that type of process. Eventually, you get to procedural where, okay, we can do it over and over again. This way works. We're finding success. And then embedded uh, that's as you start to uh, combine this work with other work. Um, and so it requires less effort in order to get the same results. And then eventually you get to effortless. That's when you have a strong team around you. That's when you hire other staff to do work for you. That's when you have connected to uh, some type of software program that can produce results um, effortless, effortlessly. Now, as you move up these levels, 
then you're moving, basically you're moving from laid back to diligent. Now, obviously you can diligently work haphazardly. All right, so it's slightly different. And you could also work uh, diligently on a tentative plan. But basically these are the styles. And over here, this is kind of like, all right, so here's the gas pedal. You push the gas pedal in order to really go. And then you use these different gears in order to get going a lot faster. Now, once you get to these, uh, this like a lot of us are here, all right? We're pushing the gas, we're striving, but we're still trailing. Now, some of you, some of the people watching this video are at home doing nothing. So you're doing nil. Obviously, if you're, you're going nil, you're not going anywhere. So hopefully you're getting stimulus checks. And uh, well, unfortunately, uh, when those stimulus checks stop coming, then... Uh, it may be your car might be broken down and you push the gas and nothing happens. So I suggest that you spend this time really trying to figure out how you can move forward in the future. Now here from moving from trailing to leading. So here, this is where you need some methods. This is where you need skills to move from the left side to the right side. This is where you need to, to think. And the space between ideas, that's what it means. It means think. You have an idea here, you have an idea. And what is in between? You're thinking. So when I get home at night, after a hard day at work, I'm not sure what to do. Sometimes I just look at this page, my side hustle options. All right, so sometimes I just sit down and watch YouTube videos. I watch a lot of videos about the economy and about politics. Um, and I study Russian, so I have quite a few Russian tutors. And uh, last, I had a class with a tutor every day. In fact, today I had, <laughs> had three classes with tutors because I got a little extra time. All right, go for a walk. So I've been going for walks. I'm trying to get healthy again. And then, of course, here we go, fill out checklists. Now, when, I, when I'm talking about filling out checklists, I'm talking about create my Create Crucial Insight direct outcomes checklists. All right, so I have checklists which discuss Space Between Ideas YouTube channel, creating a website, working with social media, and developing a direct outcomes app. And currently I'm working on the Space Between Ideas. When I'm not sure what to do, but I have a little bit of extra energy, then I go ahead and work on. So today we're gonna to work on filling out the checklists. Also, more specifically, we're gonna talk about the first thousand subscribers. Disclaimer, there may be moments in this video where I have to think. <laughs> and I'm still uh, what I'm still debating whether or not I should cut those out in the, in the editing process. So all right, let's take a look. All right, so as you know, the endeavor what I'm trying to do is attract people to a live online video conference workshop and guide participants to talk about their businesses within the structure of the direct outcomes checklists. When I start out, um, when I'm working on something, speci specifically with these checklists, I start out here, I write down what I'm planning to do. All right, so let's, today we're going to review the State Progress Checklist for YouTube. All right, now we have created a to-do list, so now we can check these off, much more handy. So today we're gonna review the State Progress Checklist for the YouTube channel, that's right here. You know, look at what I am working on currently. And then we're going to look at state resources. All right, so let's begin. If we go down to the state progress checklist, uh, basically remember that the, the top three are talking about the end, the goal, what we're trying to achieve. And the middle section, this is where the planning comes. And at the bottom, this is where we're working with potential, usually with people and resources. Um, in the future, I'd like new clients, yes. I'd like to do corporate training, yes. The content reaches a wider audience through a different media platform, possibly. Imagine this show on TV. Fantastic. Uh, new guests on the show, definitely. The basis for developing an automatized app, of course. All right, so those are future, very far into the future, reuses of what happens here right now. So right now we're in the workshop and we're working towards those reuses. Now, before we can get to those reuses, we need to, you know, do exactly what we're supposed to do to make this channel successful. Number one, chat with guests, investigate what they're doing on their in their business, then record a live discussion type YouTube show. All right, so we've started that. And you can see 
uh, some of my videos already. Number two, short term, 1,000 subs on YouTube. Two people complete 80% of the checklist on YouTube. One new client. Begin to structure the app. Record experiences for future courses. All right, so that's what I'm working on right now. Now, what's going on with the 1,000 subs on YouTube? I think that's like basically the first step to this pro process is getting 100 or uh, 1,000 subs subscribers on YouTube. Now, um, let's let's talk about the 1,000 subscribers. So let's go down here. What I'm working on, and we have the black label YouTuber creating videos. All right. So the thing that I was working on the last couple of weeks. Um, I needed to create thumbnails and um, brand five second startup video. All right, so here you go. Let's check out Black Label YouTuber. Here it is. So I signed up for this free course, uh, Tom and Renee's YouTube Starter Kit, and it's really in interesting. So basically, in the course, number one, you have the starter kit. Number two, your first 1,000 subscribers. All right, so I have completed the starter kit. All right, so they talk about seven YouTubing truths. Then they go into this money-making map. All right, so here's the money-making map. Now, on the money-making map, you have to do some research about your 10 YouTube competitors. All right, so that's something certainly I need to write down. So research 10 YouTube competitors. And then she says, go to Fiverr and look up YouTube competitors keywords. Now, this is interesting because I have been watching another guy on YouTube, all right? So he has this 90-day challenge, grow your audience fast without paid ads. All right, now he says you can go to, uh, you can pay for Keyword Finder, you can pay for Brainstorm It, or you can use Keywords Everywhere for free, or you can use Google for free. All right, so basically I jumped onto Google, and I searched for Google Keywords, and of course, here it is, choose the right words, with our research. All right, so here you go. Here's my uh, refine your keywords. This guide shows you how to refine your keywords in just a few steps. All right, so I'm not really sure how to, where to go next at this point. So we have Google, but we also have something called Keywords Everywhere. All right, so here's, now I looked at Keywords Everywhere and it's like, oh my goodness, it's just like, it's supposed to be free. All right, so what do I do? Install it for Chrome, browser add-on for keyword research. All right, so it's a browser add-on for keyword research. Now, the interesting thing about Black Label YouTuber is they give you this map. Now, um, I don't have a list of my 10 competitors, which is the thing I need to do is come up with a list of 10 competitors. And then it says step two, you need to research YouTube competitors. And that's where these like keywords come in. So actually I did. So I went to uh, Fiverr and I put in research YouTube competitors. And in fact, that's where I found this YouTube video, key word research, niche competitor analysis, high competition, high volume, high CPC uh, channel topic. It looks like exactly what's going on here. The $5 research YouTube competitors. Fantastic. All right. So uh, we'll put that into the plan. 25 keywords. Then... Pay five dollars for someone to do the same thing. There, perfect. Review state progress checklist for YouTube channel. Did that. Look at what I'm working on currently. I did that. And finally, let's look at state resources. Okay. Mm -hmm.